Audio test, test, test. One, two. The game tips off in about five minutes. Appreciate y'all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Combat Academy welcomes you to the John Jordan Gymnasium for tonight's basketball matchup between Gaston Christian and your Combine Academy goats. At this time, will you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of the national anthem.
Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. We are here, night two of the season starting lineups are being announced. Miles Mastercola here on the call here on the Hoops Day Network. We appreciate you guys for tuning in on the second night of the season here on the farm at Combine Academy. Tonight we have Gaston Christian led by truly a, a basketball legend and Chris Duhon making his debut or at least his Hoops Day Network debut. They played the Christ School last night, lost a close one. Um, and they'll, they'll be playing back tonight, back back nights as are the goats and the lights are cut off. Starting lineups about to be announced for combine. They shot the cover off of it in the first quarter and used that momentum to propel them to a great win. And, uh, and now we'll see how they go. I'll let Nate take it away on the mic. You'll be able to hear him from here. We did not see Diallo play last night. Had the knee brace on, still has it on tonight, but he's going to get the start. The we'll see four. him get the go. A6A senior from the Congo. Number 14, Madu Okitondo. Starting at guard, a 6'5 senior from Raleigh, North Carolina, number two, Jay Wall. And starting at guard, a Seton Hall commit from Charlotte, North Carolina, number zero, Jesse Fountain. Kansas commit from Palaka, Florida, number four. Rookies! Boop, 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 pass four! And the starting lineups are announced. We are about to get underway here on the farm. We mentioned last night, Combine's got a lot of depth. It had a couple guys out last night, but we'll see with Diallo back into the fold, into the lineup. We'll see what kind of minutes he plays. And uh, Rivers Knight still has the warm-up on. I'd imagine he kind of just dressed out, warmed up. Um, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Two of the main pieces to watch for Gaston Christian. The big fellow underneath wearing number zero, Gabby Mabor. And then the point guard, sophomore Cam Newman, has been playing. I mean, a Team Charlotte kid has played up for a while has a lot of experience, smart, knockdown shooter, cerebral, true point guard. We'll see what he's able to do tonight. And this one, Okatondo is gonna have the tip with Gabby to get things started. A little, little readjustment. I guess there was a clarification on something. But here we go. Ball is up, and it's in the hands of Jashim Felton. He'll bring it up. He played at Gaston Christian his sophomore year. So some, some, some familiar faces, new coach and stuff, but Newman was on that team as an eighth grader, so we'll see what Felton's able to do against his former club. Little floater is up, and no good. Rebound is fought for, secured, and in the hands of Gaston Christian. Here comes Cam Newman. Newman with the basketball, calling for a ball screen, dribbles between his legs, uses it, and gives it up to Joe Ryan. He's their shooter. Now it's in the hands of Dario Williams. Williams gives it up to Newman. Newman directing traffic, has 12 on the shot clock. Deep three, his launch looks short from here it is, and they'll just let it roll. That was off the fingertips of Williams, and the air ball chance are coming in. Felton gets the call from the sideline. We saw Combine run a lot of sets last night trying to get everybody in a rhythm. They did a really good job. Otokondo launches a three. No good. And here comes Cam Newman. Score still 0-0 as we cross the seven minute mark of the first quarter. Newman gives it up to Mavor at the top of the key. Passmore steals it. He said he's getting one tonight and absolutely is. Rakeese Passmore floating on the rim to get the scoring started. Gets the steal. We've seen that a time or two. Here's Newman. A little pressure here from Jay and Walker. He gives it up to Williams. Williams across the court now to Southern. 
Now it's Williams. He'll take the three. That's back iron. No good. Otakondo. Skies for the rebound. And here comes Felton. Eyes up. Jasheen Felton looking for a friend to pass to. He has one. Walker, he skips it over to Passmore. He'll take the three. Front rim, no good. Rebound batted around. Jay Walker spins off a defender. Launches a pull-up. Jay, it's good. That mid-range game is so smooth and sweet. Look at Jay and Walker. 4 nothing Goats. See if Gaston Christian can do something with this little zone press look. And Mike Wright is thrown at him. Newman confidently steps into a three. And it's nothing but net. Cam Newman gets the scoring started. For Gaston Christian, if he's open, you better believe it's going in. Felton around a screen. Stops. Gives it up. Otakondo driving. Stopping off two. Little floater is up. Couldn't get the roll. Rebound secured by Mabor. And here comes Newman with a chance to give his team the lead with 5.52 to play in the first. Here's Newman, rejects the screen, thought about the step back, gives it up. Now they're going to go down low to the big fella. It's Gabby with it. Little jump hook, missed it short, gets his own. Puts it on the deck one more time, kicks out. Newman thought about the three. He'll drive, forced and stopped in his tracks there by Felton as he looked for a shot. And now it's worked around again. They're going to reset. They have 10 on the shot clock. Newman, little in and out move around the screen. Uses the pace, finds Ryan. Ryan's got four to work with. He'll drive into traffic. And a jump ball is called good defense there from J.M. Walker getting his hand in on the basketball. Possession stays with Gaston Christian, but they only have two on the shot clock. Jasheen barking out orders, making sure everybody's aware of the situation. Newman on the inbound, going to try to get someone open for a shot. Has to shoot, gets it up, and no good. Rolled off the rim. Newman's able to get the rebound after Walker couldn't corral it. He'll reset now as the shot clock resets to 20. It's down to 15 already, though. Newman, what a one-legged leaner. Couldn't get it. Rebound by Otakondo. He gives it to Felton. Here they go. Felton gives it up to Diallo. Diallo staying patient. Combine working it around. It's Walker with it. Walker around a screen. He'll attack. Gives it out to Felton. He'll launch a deep one. Felton looks off from here it is. Walker's able to get the rebound. He'll whip it out, and they'll reset. Ref blew the game dead. I guess he just blew the whistle. Like, what's going on with the shot clock? And they, uh, the, the gentleman at the table did a great job resetting it the way they needed. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Here comes Felton with the basketball. Felton out. Otakondo, three ball, no. Rebound secured by Newman. Score still 4-3. Both teams not really connecting on their opportunities so far. I've gotten some quality looks, just unable to connect. And a travel was called, I think. They didn't call it, they called a foul away from the ball on the pass underneath. Guy checking into the game right now, Brett Freeman. Big time wing, 2025 kid. Played with Team United. Um, a really, really good piece to have off your bench for Gaston Christian this season. He'll probably end up starting some games at some point. And they missed him wide open underneath. Ryan has the ball in the corner. He uses the screen from Gabby. Kicks it out. Thought about the three. And a travel. Call that one on Dylan Joy. He shuffled his feet off the catch and Felton will get the inbound. What is... There's one official that's having some trouble today. He's just, I, you know, I guess he's got to work out the early season kinks. I'm not really sure what's going on. Here comes Felton with the basketball right-hand dribble. He gives it up to Walker. And an offensive foul is called on, I believe, Diallo. Now Chandler Watts and Paul Jones are going to come into the basketball game. He'll give Walker and Diallo a break. Combine going to continue to expend some pressure. Here's Newman with the basketball. Passes with the left over to Freeman. Out to Newman. Thought about the shot. He'll drive. Skip through the lane. And one. Cam Newman. A tough finish to give his team the lead. He's got all five. Has a chance to get six here at the line. He's got a chance to be a breakout star in the state of North Carolina. At 17, I believe he had 17 and seven last night against Christ School. And we'll see if he can connect on the free throw right here. It is up for Newman, back iron no good. Failure to box out. 
and Dillon gets the rebound. Freeman three, no. Rebound, batted around. Joy gets his hands on another offensive board. Freeman thought about that one, will drive. Now he has to retreat, uses the screen a little bit, finds Gabby on the pick and pop three. Big fella launches and good. Gabby Mabor showing the touch. Officials called it a two, 7-4 lead for Gaston Christian. Able to play some good defense early as Passmore attacks. Gives it out to Felton. Now Paul Jones, three ball, short. Rebound, Passmore's got it, he'll reset. Here's Passmore, gives it out to Jones. Jones hands off to Watts. Watts gonna look to attack. Watts goes up off the glass. Couldn't get the roll, rebound underneath. Is good for Otokondo. He's been active early. Gets Combine back within a point. Newman with the basketball. Dealing with pressure from Jones, gives it up to Freeman as Watts hounds him. Freeman circles back, gives it up to Joy. Joy gives it back to Freeman. Uses the screen, we'll see what he does with it. Com Combine forcing Gaston, used a lot of the shot clock, only seven seconds remain. Newman, a deep three, no. Rebound, Watts couldn't get it. It's a battle for the basketball. Jasheem Felton called the timeout to avoid the jump ball, assuming it'll be a 30. Thirty-second timeout is the call. Um, Gaston Christian is off to a good start. I think that the way that they're able, if they're going to find a way to win this basketball game here tonight, it's going to have to be slowing it down, not allowing Combine to get those transition opportunities like we saw with that pass more dunk. Um, getting those extra possessions on the offensive glass, <clears throat> which they've been able to do a great job of early. Combine's getting some good looks they haven't been able to connect, and now we'll see how they're able to respond, how they're able to deal with a little early adversity, uh, because they did not have any early adversity last night. So we'll see what Coach Wright and his staff are talking about in the huddle, and then Chris Duhon is probably emphasizing to continue up the great work. There's still some stuff Gaston Christian clean up, but we'll see what they end up doing as both teams are breaking the huddle right now. Here come the goats. Felton's got the basketball, they run an Iverson cut for Passmore, see what he can do. He's gotta attack Joe Ryan. I don't think Ryan's athletic enough to hang with him the whole game. Rebound secured off the Passmore miss. Here comes Gaston in the hands of Newman. I have a feeling Cam Newman might play this whole basketball game tonight. Freeman attacks the closeout baseline drive, reverse layup, no. Otokondo did a good job providing some resistance. Passmore over the top, couldn't get the roll, wanted that one back, but he will go to the free throw line for two try to tie the game and potentially get Combine the lead if he's able to connect on both. Talked to Passmore earlier today. He said he is okay after getting his hand stepped on last night and he was able to come back into the game and make a couple plays, but um, definitely wasn't comfortable, but he's good to go now as he retucks his jersey back in. Passmore's first free throw is up and good. Tie ball game, seven up. Anderson's going to come in and give Jasheem Felton a break. He can heat up with the shot making. We'll see it. You know, Mike has talked about developing depth. Got to develop our depth early in the year, and he's a guy that Combine will need to have ready to play in some big games at some points this year. Second one for Passmore is no good. We're all tied up at seven. Pressure extension. He's only got four seconds to get it over. Newman weaving through, splitting defenders all the way. Nice pass down low. Blocked from behind by Watts. Kick out Newman. He'll work it around. It's Dylan Joy launching a three. That one's no good. Another offensive rebound for Gaston. And they're going to work it inside. Now it's out Freeman. He thought about the triple. Reverses course. Newman will settle some things down. Newman down low. Shot fake, but a travel. And we're going the other way. I'll also say this, what an asset it is for Cam Newman to have a guy like Chris Duhon coaching you every single day. A guy that's played the position at the highest level playing in the NBA, played at Duke, 
had an incredible career there and is now carving out his niche in the high school coaching ranks in the state of North Carolina. He's got a great team to work with this season as Anderson brings it up for combine trying to give the Goats a lead. Here's Walker, he'll cross over, take a bump from a defender and a travels call. Gaston Christian forces the turnover with a minute 27 to play in the quarter. Here comes Newman. Newman with the basketball minute, 16 to go. In the first quarter now, Joy's got it. Now Freeman wants a ball screen. Another travel. Here's Anderson with it. He'll cross over being hounded by Newman. Struggle to bring the ball up. Moving screen on Hagerdorn. He was never set. This game has been a defensive struggle thus far. Both teams on pace to score under 40 points at this point. Here's Newman. Round of screen. Gets it back, has another screen waiting for him. He'll reject and a deep pull up three. Cam Newman, no. Rebounds, not quite secured, but now it is. And Newman will get it and reset. So many extra opportunities for Gaston Christian. And a timeout is called by Chris Duhon. He'll talk things over with his group. 15 on the shot clock, 36.9 on the game clock. We'll be back with y'all momentarily. like action is about to resume and it will be gas and Christian basketball as they called the timeout and Cam Newman will get things set up 13 to work with on the shot clock as the much larger Jaya Walker is guarding him out on the perimeter uses the screen forces a switch they got an open shooter launched up and no good rebound underneath and another foul I believe that one's on Hagerdorn I believe that's his second already And we see the uh, the new foul rule in high school, which I, I wish I was smart enough to tell you because I'm going to have to learn it as we go. Uh, but I believe it is five fouls in the quarter. And you just shoot the double bonus. No more one-on-one -on -one in high school basketball. Um, that's new this year. Uh, I think this rule change will favor the more aggressive teams as the fouls reset each quarter. Once you hit your limit, you can kind of tone it down. But... Everything resets. Everyone's going to kind of be able to, to pin their ears back at the start of each quarter again um, defensively, especially the teams that like to get after it. Free throws are split, and it's 8-7. Gaston Christian in front. Here's Anderson with the basketball. Anderson finds Jones in the corner, gets it right back. No need to force. So they're going to hold for one here, probably. Look for a ball screen to come in about three more seconds here, unless Walker's going to just go by himself. Walker, kick out Jones, catches and shoots. It is no good. It rattles out. Rebound secured by Newman. And they're saying Newman stepped out with 1.7 seconds left. So Combine will have a quick opportunity for a catch and shoot or something underneath. Possibly a, a chance for a good look. Going to keep the same five out there. To Watts. 
Watts one dribble pull left it short and at the end of the first defensive slugfest here in Lincolnton 8-7 lead for Gaston Christian we'll be back with you guys here in just a moment on the Hoop State Network second quarter here. Walker, who's right in front of me, is going to inbound to Felton as Freeman guards him. Combine down by one to Gaston Christian here to start the second quarter on the Hoop State Network. Get it to Bigfoot, getting his first action. Gave them great minutes last night, anchoring the defense, protecting the rim, rebounding, doing all the, the dirty work that big men love to do. Down low to him here, little jump hook off the glass and good. Bigfoot gives Combine the lead with a confident shot. Two guys swarm Freeman, and Cam Newman has sat down. We'll see how long he's out for. He's really the only point guard on this roster. At least the one that ones that they trust to play in a game of this magnitude. See if Freeman can alleviate some of the issues. Passes down low and tipped, and it's going to stay with Gaston Christian. 12 on the shot clock. Here's Freeman. Joe Ryan attacking. Kick out. Good extra. Three-pointer from the corner is up and good. Confident shot from Braden Milner. 11-9 lead for Gas. A little in and out move from Felton. He gets by the defenders. A layup. Couldn't get the roll, but he'll go to the line for two. That was a decisive, decisive slash and attack from Jasheen Felton. He's going to go to the line for two. It's like Dylan Joy got a little shaken up on the play, may have caught something. He's all good. May have gotten his bell rung a little bit. Free throw for Felton. Nothing but net. One point game. Second one for Felton is good. And we're all tied 11. Looks like we have a, sh uh, a shoe went MIA. Can he make it with, with one shoe? Almost. Oh, that was great teamwork right there to get him the shoe back. I'm just saying that Bigfoot stepped out. Maybe his foot was too big. Stepped on the baseline. Letting our boy get his shoe back on. Here's Joy with it. Trying to find a friend to pass to. He does in Freeman. Freeman guarded by Otakunda. Thought about that one. Passing the corner for Ryan. He has not been able to get a clean look from three. And it looks like that is a turnover. Nope, not a turnover. I guess it got deflected off a Combine player. Combine's still doing a great job defensively, even they weren't able to get that call. I guess his nose is bleeding. Joy is going to have to come out. He'll go get that cleaned up. Five seconds on the shot clock. Get it in a Ryan. He's swarmed immediately. Give it back to him. He's got to shoot it. One second. Shot is up and no good. Felton elevates for the rebound in traffic and gets the basketball back for his team. And he pitches ahead to Walker. Walker, skip in three. Yes. Jay in Walker. A hezzy pull from deep. 
and substitution timeout I believe called and they got to adjust the net real quick and it looks like Newman Here comes Gas, and there was some confusion there. Newman thought about a deep one from the volleyball line. Here's Ryan, being hounded a bit by Passmore, trying to get the separation. He stopped in his tracks. Now it's Gabby with it. Look, good cut by Newman. He'll weave through, finds a shooter in the corner. It's Ryan. Good close out there. Gabby will step up and launch one, missed it short. Rebound secured, and here comes Jay and Walker. Just gave Combine a lead. From the same spot, Felton right back. Couldn't get it. That one is secured by Otokondo. Soft touch, couldn't get it. A rebound batted out to Felton. He'll weave through. Finds Walker. Can he hit his second three of the ball game? Absolutely. Jay and Walker has put the work in to extend the range, and the work is showing, my friends. He's got the last six for the Goats. They lead by six. Good move by Gabby to avoid the double. But guess what? Bigfoot recovers and gets the block. Pitch ahead. Walker, his third in the last couple minutes. Why not? Why not? Jay and Walker. 19-11, or 20-11, excuse me. And Combine just got the run that they needed to break their offense open. Gas and Christian reeling a little bit. They got to figure it out. Timeout is called 528 to play. Be back with you shortly. about to resume Gaston Christian on the wrong side of an 11-0 run for the Goats nine of which off the fingertips of Jay and Walker shooting the cover off of it here for Combine here's Newman with the basketball gives it up to Gabby Gabby fakes the DHO doesn't fake this one here's Freeman with three they needed that what a response Brett Freeman gets them back within two possessions it's a six point game Felton just blows by the defender. Good rim protection there to alter that one underneath as Passmore launches off the offensive rebound. No good. Bigfoot skies in traffic. He's fighting for it. Who's got the basketball? He gets stuck. Tried to find a friend to pass through. Nobody was there. Here's Newman with it. Catches on the run. What a move from Newman underneath to make it a four-point game. Great response out of the timeout for Gaston. Five quick points to get this game back within striking distance. Walker driving. A lot of contact. Newman makes another great play and steps in for the charge. The baseline spin move for two, then the charge on the defensive end. And Gaston Christian makes a couple momentum plays to get themselves some, some steam behind them again. 4.36 to go, 2016 lead for Combine. And now Newman has it with the basketball. Here's Cam Newman. What's he going to do? Has passed more, brings it up, always in control. Gabby working, trying to create a little fall away. Shimmy, that's tough, couldn't get the roll. That was a great move to get the separation he needed to get a good look off. Here's Passmore with the basketball, thinking about it. Almost shook line out of his shoes. Walker resets back to Passmore. Passmore, going to give it to Felton, and they're going to run something. Here's Walker. Walker gives it out, Passmore. Gets by the defender. Three is up for Jayan. Rattles out. Bigfoot, another jump hook. That one rattles out. Rebound batted around. Whose ball is it? It's Gaston's. Paul Jones going to come in. Give Jan Walker a breather. 
as will C.J. Purdy, who will get, who will go get Ricky's Passman. Across the halfway mark of the second quarter. Cam Newman with the basketball. Newman, Dedrable, nice move trying to get the hesitation, but Purdy stayed with him, sliding the puppies. Gabby lost it, forced to pick it back up. Double dribble. So he was good. He lost the basketball, kept his pivot foot down, just couldn't dribble again, had to get rid of it. And uh, kind of misread the situation there. Combine's going to get the ball back with a chance to extend their lead, 3.36 to go. Shout out to the great people of the triad who are tuning into this one. And it looks like Bigfoot's going to get a break. Another great stretch of minutes for him. Uh, a quality available senior big with something that you can't teach. He is seven feet tall. Three and a half to go as Felton brings it across. He's assessing the situation. A little zone look here defensively for Gaston. Been mixing it in throughout the game. See what Felton can get. They're going to run screen for Jones. Couldn't quite free him up. Now Purdy's got it. No reset. Purdy crosses over, gives it to Felton. One second left, couldn't get it off. And there was no communication there on what the shot clock situation was. And it was low. And they paid the price for it. Turnover. Let's see what Gaston Christian can get. Here comes Cam Newman. Another great prospect in the loaded 2026 North Carolina recruiting class. That was a good set there. They forced the switch for Felton to get on Big Gabby, and, and Gabby just physically imposed his will to the point where Felton had no choice but to foul him or else he was going to give up two points. Felton's forced to foul, and now we'll reset with 20 on the shot clock. Freeman's got it, and he'll call something out. Almost a turnover there. It is a turnover. Uh-oh. Passmore. Take off. Again, Rakis Passmore in the open floor, making things happen above the rim. Rock chalk. Jayhawk. Get used to it. Here's Newman. Little dead dribble pull up. Blocked by Paul Jones. He stayed with him. Did a great job. Hanging with the shifty guard. Jones thought about the three. He'll drive. Plays off two feet. Kick out to Otokondo. He's on the short corner. He'll kick that one out to Jones. Thought about it. Nice little shot fake. Step back. Triple. Rattles home for Paul Jones. Like I said earlier, a real contender for sixth man of the year in the state of North Carolina. 25-16. Here's Newman. Over to Freeman. Across the court, they find Ryan. Ryan launches a deep one. It is up and no good. That would have been a big shot for Gaston to kind of slow the momentum for Combine, who's up nine now. Under two minutes to play. Freeman crosses over, dump down, ends up out to Ryan. He'll take another three in the corner, and it's good. Might have gotten fouled as well. Passmore didn't give him a chance to land. No call, and it's back within six. Felton crosses over again. Driving, and they call a foul on the drive, on the bump before the shot. And we'll reset with a minute and a half to play. Another foul is called on the inbound. It looks like Watts is going to come back in. Watts is 
first game or so of watching. Swiss Army Knife does a little bit of everything out there for the Goats. Here's Diallo back into the ball game. He'll drive and kick to Jones for three. Good look. Couldn't get it. Rebound. Gabby goes up and secures it up high. And now Joe Ryan's got it. He'll pitch ahead. Layup is up. Passmore sends it almost to the opposing team's locker room after that one. Getting some energy there from the student section with a minute 18 to go in the half. Newman gets it into Ryan. They get it down low to Gabby. Back to Newman. Spacing was a little off. They were too close for Newman to be able to get that shot off. And now Freeman's got it. Newman, a deep three. It is up. No good. Rebound secured. And here comes Watts. Watts driving. Will retreat and reset. Could probably hold it or go two for one, but Passmore takes the one dribble pull. Misses short. And now the same two-for-one opportunity will be had for Gaston Christian if they want it. Newman thinking about it. He'll cross over. Stop and pop jumper. Looks flat from here it is. I think he was trying to push for that two-for-one. And now we'll see what Combine does with 24 on the shot clock. And now only 30 on the game clock as we're down to 18 on the shot. Here's Passmore. Gives it up to Jones. Jones over to Felton. 13 to work with. Jasheem Felton sizing up his defender. Attacking, takes the bump. I think they called it before the shot again. Shot clock is reset, so now it, Mike can hold for one. See what he's going to want his boys to do. They get it into Jones, now it's Diallo. They're going to try to free Felton up, give him the DHO. Get him downhill. He'll stop, easy look for two. Jasheen Felton, that was a warm up free throw line jump shot. He gets Combine's lead back to eight. Here's Newman with six seconds. Cam Newman has a step, lobs it up to Gabby, miscommunication, and now Combine has 3.2 to work with. And they'll get it Hagerdorn into the game for Diallo. 3.2 on the clock. Let's see what Combine can get before the half. They lead by eight. They'll get it to Watts. Watts dribbles twice, three times, driving, pulls up, got it off late. Couldn't quite. And Mike is like, you got to shoot that earlier. But at the half, Combine, so slow start. Both teams started slow, but Jay and Walker was able to hit a few triples to spark the offense. They lead 27-19 over Gaston Christian. We'll be back with you guys in a little under 10 minutes. Thank you for tuning in.
Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back live on the farm on the Hoopsay Network. Miles Mastercola here with you on the call. Gaston Christian Trailing Combine Academy here. 
27-19, a big run sparked by Jayen Walker, launching some threes, hit three in a row to kind of propel Combine in front. They haven't really looked too far back since then. Nice cut underneath for two. Extending the defense out and a finish there for Southern. Gets the scoring started in the half for Gaston Christian. They trail by six. Here's Felton to trying to get it to Walker. It's knocked out. Here's Felton. Felton gets the ball up to Jabby. And now it's Passmore. He'll cross over, put his back on the defender. Goes up strong and draws a foul. And Rakees Passmore just trying to impose his will. Just trying to use his gifts. His God-given athletic ability as well as the work that he's put in the weight room to add strength to his frame to impose his will on the defender and get to the line. Misses the first. See if he can hit the second. Try to extend Combine's lead. Pass more with one more from the line. Gets that one to go, nothing but net, zero doubt. And it's 28-21 now, Combine extending the pressure. Get it to Newman, and there's Williams. Williams gets back to Newman, now Ryan has it. Down low, Gabby dealing with some pressure underneath, but he finishes in traffic for two points. 28-23 is the count. Felton gets the ball from Passmore. And they're going to run something. Here's a screen. Felton back to Watts. Watts didn't catch it clean, but able to reverse course. Hangs in the air for the floater. That one was way off. Bigfoot underneath. Kicks out Felton. Felton puts up a little push shot. That one's no good off the back iron. Battle for the rebound. And Felton secures it. Is able to draw a foul in doing so. Both teams competing really hard. Hasn't been the prettiest basketball game. But the effort level is there. We'll see if any of it starts to come to fruition with some more efficient offense as this game continues to progress. 6.50 to go here in the third. Passmore's got it. Dribbles between the legs a couple times. Going to look to get things going. 13 on the shot clock as Watts has it. Watts handoff to Walker. Now it's Felton. Felton strong rip. Going to drive, go up, finish. Wiped away by Mabor. That could have been a goal 10, but it was kind of on that fringe. And here we go. Newman, three ball, up. No good, it rattled out, rebound, Felton secures it, and he's got his eyes up looking ahead. Felton pushing the basketball, little change of pace. Here's Passmore, takes the bump, shot is up, no good, draws another foul. Kondo comes in for Bigfoot. They get it out to Passmore. He'll take the three. It is up. No good. Here comes Newman. Chance to make it a one possession game. The sophomore point guard. Had a couple flashes tonight. Not shooting it quite as well as he normally does, but still leaving his imprint on this game. Goes around the screen. Gets it up. Harrison down low. A little flip shot is up and way off. And now Walker recovers the rebound. He's got it for Combine. Walker crosses over, almost lost. He gives it out to Passmore. Passmore's cut off, cut off twice, and they call a charge. Coaching staff for Combine telling. Uh, Rakeese Passmore, just settle down, man. Just settle down a little bit. You're moving a little too much, a little too hyper, hyper energetic when you have the ball. Just settle down, let the game come to you. That was great defense there by Freeman to cut him off. Newman's got the ball again. They try to jump him with two. They send two his way. He's got to retreat. He's got to get it over. He's got two seconds. Finds a way. Has to avoid his own man trying to set a screen for him. He'll weave through. Handling with a lot of pressure. Newman attacking. Nice pass down low. Blocked away underneath, but a foul on Odakondo. Swiped a little too much. What a job by Cam Newman. Weaving through and making a play. Hard 
hard to speed that young fella up, man. Knows how to play. And now we got free throws right here for Gaston. First one's way short off the fingertips of Dario Williams. Almost called him Mario. Shout out to uh, one of Houston Texan and Buffalo Bill, NC State alum Mario Williams, former number one overall pick. Second one is good. 28-24 combine leads. They've been shut out so far to start this second half. Here's Felton around a curl. Stops. Almost miscommunicates with Walker going the other way. Combine a little out of sync offensively through the first two minutes and 43 seconds of the half. Can Gaston Christian seize the moment? Only able to put up three points so far. And now Newman's got it again. He'll stop and pop as they go under the screen. That one's short. The rebound battled for secured. Harrison, what a job on the old glass. Gaston Christian's doing tonight. Here's Freeman again. Crossover, pull up three. Brett Freeman missed it short, and Felton's on the rebound. He's pushing. Felton hanging in the air, has it blocked. Thought that one actually ended up going back off of him. We'll stay with Combine, though. Here's Paul Jones. Jones driving, hanging, couldn't get the finish. Oda Kondo is able to corral it, get it back to pass more, reset, great extra effort there from Oda Kondo underneath. Pass more, attacking with the left hand. Gives it out to Jones. Jones with seven on the shot clock. Jones driving, kick Walker, another three. Yes, Jay in Walker, his fourth of the ball game. Shot is up and good. Harrison, response. Here is Walker, or not, excuse me, Felton. Hold away, plus the contact for two. And the students mob and refs say, hey guys, settle down. Felton's going to go to the line. It just feels like this combine team kind of feeds off momentum. And the spark plug of that momentum tonight has been the shot making from Jan Walker. He gets the three to get them to 31. Next possession down. Jasheen Felton goes to the paint, gets the end one. We'll see if he can make the free throw right here. Future Seton Hall Pirate signed that national letter of intent yesterday. That one is up and good. Keep in mind, Kamlan still playing without Rivers Knight. Diallo's minutes have been clearly limited, even though he did get the start tonight. So now we'll see what the rest of the boys can do here to try to close this one out up by seven as we cross the halfway mark of the third. Here's Freeman. Stop and pop triple. It is up. It is no good. That one is no good. Rebound Ryan off the side of the backboard. Pull up Jones. Some contact, no call. Otokondo, another offensive rebound for the big fella underneath. Gives it out to Felton to reset. Felton again. Yes. Acrobatic finish. The scoop touch. They're going to wipe the spot up. Felton getting his bearings back under him after hitting the deck. And a timeout is called. 36-27, combine in front, 3-18 to play here in the third. Be back with y'all shortly.
8.18 to go as we return to action. Ryan inbounds, pressure. Look, immediate trap from Combine. Newman is able to get away from it for now. Gets away from it again and almost gets his guy stuck. Gabby thought about the three. Nice shot fake drive. Nice finish from the big fella. That was impressive. Six foot nine, Gabby Mabor with the finish in traffic. Seven point game. Here's Passmore. Pull up jumper in rhythm. Two foot or two dribble. You can count it. Rakis Passmore again. 38 29. And they call a reach and foul. Thirty-eight twenty-nine is the score. Two forty-two left. After that reach and foul is called, I believe on Jay and Walker. And now Newman's got it. We'll see if they send the trap or just going to guard him straight up. It looks like they're going to guard him straight up with Walker. Oh, they're going to send two. Newman evades with a little change of pace, finds Freeman. Oh, they have a wide open shooter in the corner that they just missed. That shot is up in a foul. And Freeman's going to go to the line. He had a wide open shooter in the corner, but just completely missed him. Kind of got bailed out by being able to go to the free throw line here. We'll see if he's able to connect. Keep Gaston Christian within striking distance of combine. First free throw, bottoms. That one was good. Here comes Felton, that one is knocked away. And Otokondo will recover. He'll look to attack and give it up to, to Jane Walker. Walker, nice move. Drive, pass is deflected, and now Newman's got it. Leading the fast break, odd man rush, Freeman. Nice finish in traffic. Freeman for Gaston, and they're within five. Pass more, out to Jones, extra. Walker attacks, hangs in the air, gets the finish. Jan Walker attacking the closeout with purpose and finishing at the rim. Pace is picking up. Dumped down, now it's Freeman in the corner with it. He's spinning off a defender. And another foul is called on Walker for reaching in. And now David Anderson, I'd imagine, will go get Jan Walker after a couple quick fouls. is up and good. Second one for Freeman. Gets the shooter's roll. 40 to 35 is the count. Felton's got it, dealing with some pressure. He'll handle it calmly for now. Sees a trap coming, gets it up to Anderson. Anderson, stop and pop jumper. Gets it to go. David Anderson, like I said, can come in and make shots. He does just that for combine to get the lead back up to seven. Freeman might have gotten away with a push off there. Jones recovers, stays with him, goes around the screen. Staying here, good defense from Paul Jones. And that's a carry. And Paul Jones said he's getting a stop, putting the seat belt on him. The Hofstra commit. Says, guess what? We're getting the basketball right back. Minute 24 to go. Here comes Combine. Combine has a lot of creation and shot making on the floor right now. Passmore at the four, a smaller lineup. We'll see what they can do with it. Otakondo takes a midi. It is up. It is off left. Rebound fought for and secured by Freeman. Here he goes. Freeman gets it out. Now it's Gabby with it. Gabby takes the three, looks short from here, it is. And that is it, going the other way. And now Cam Newman's gonna come back into the game, try and reestablish some order here for Gaston Christian's offense.
Felton inbound to Anderson. He'll bring it up. He'll give it back to Felton. Here they go. Sheen Felton, like we said, going to Seton Hall. Rejects the ball screen. Attacks, has a defender on his shoulder, draws a foul. He's getting downhill tonight. He is getting downhill tonight. He's going to get his opportunities. He's drawn a lot of contact, and he's causing some issues for the defense. Creating some foul trouble. He's going to go to the line here for two, as the bonus has been hit. Jasheem Felton, first free throw to extend Combine's lead. Up to eight, is up, and is good. Looks like Bigfoot's going to check in. He'll give Oda Kondo a break. The front court for Combine. At least the older guys with Oda Kondo and Bigfoot. Not the guys that are going to do the glamorous things, but the guys that help you win games. First one is up and good. Here comes Cam Newman. Team down nine, 50 seconds to go. Big closing stretch of this quarter for Gaston. They want to stay in this game. That three is up from Newman. No, couldn't connect. Not really finding his shot tonight as Felton has it with 38 seconds. Felton goes downhill and another foul is called. He's just barreling into the defense. He understood the time with the shot clock. Now Combine's gonna at least get another chance with the basketball if they can secure a rebound. And that's four fouls now, I think on Cam Newman. That's the problem when you have a smaller guard going up against a bigger guard. It's, it can be tough defensively to stay with them the whole ball game. Felton has two free throws right here. First one, Butter. Felton's second free throw. It is up and good. Rattles home. He'll get a break. Watts comes in to alleviate him for the final 35-3 of this one. Gaston Christian, it's in the hands of Newman. They trail by 11. Backdoor lob. What a pass and finish. From Newman to Gabby, we'll be seeing a lot of that this season from Gaston Christian. They get him back within one. That is a dictionary definition of how to run the pick and roll the right way. Good defense from Newman, able to save it. He gets it into Ryan, back to Newman. He'll launch a three at the horn. It's no good but a foul, and Cam Newman is going to go to the line for three with .5 on the clock to make it a potentially two-possession game. What a job by Gaston Christian in the final 50 seconds of this quarter to get some momentum back. Especially if he's able to make some free throws right here. Newman's first is no good. Rattled out. Got to capitalize on the opportunities you get from the strike. Here's Newman again at the line. It is up. It is good. Cuts it to eight. Second one is up. The third one, excuse me, is good. Seven point game, they get it in. Purdy gonna launch it. Uh, I don't think he got it off. And at the end of three, Still the same difference. Seven points, 46-39 combine in front of Gaston Christian. Be back with you guys in about a minute here on the Hoop State Network.
seven point game. Paul Jones. I think he had something to say. I'm not sure what I couldn't quite comprehend what he was saying. But he said something. As they throw it out, it was a dangerous pass. Newman gets the steal. He'll pitch ahead to Freeman. Freeman. Going to retreat his course here. Bad first possession for Combine there. And now Newman's got it. Newman was waiting for a screen. Will he use it? Yes. He's got another one waiting for him. They try to jump him. He's able to evade around for now. Here's Freeman driving. Scoop finish. No. Rebound kind of hung on the rim for a second. Made it an awkward get. And it's going to end up going Combine's way. Now Jones has it. He'll bring it up. First little backcourt piece. Play on or off the ball for the Goats. Jones gives it up. Around the screen they go. Here's Watts back to Jones. Jones, spin move, step back. That's a tough look. Couldn't get it. Rebound in the hands of Harrison. Now it's Newman. And another reach in foul is called right there. Get it to Newman. Jones able to give enough space to land, avoiding a foul call, but still in his grill. Big possession here for Gaston. Cut it down to two possessions if they do, do it right. Now it's Gabby with it. Gabby, nice cut to Freeman. Goes up and puts it in. Great offense from Gaston Christian. Good play call from Chris Duhon. Great execution by the boys in black. Felton being hounded a little bit. Freeman on him. That's a good matchup. Here's Watts with it. Watts, little change of pace, pull up jumper, way off. Rebound batted around, and it's in the hands of the point guard, Newman. Here comes Cam Newman. Now it's Gabby with it, fakes the handoff, gives it up there. Freeman will launch a three, it is up, no good, dead off the side of the rim. 46-41, 6.14 to go. Here's Felton, little pull up jumper, yes, high arcing, great touch from Felton. Quick timeout from Mike Wright. 6-0-2 to play. We'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. 48-41, combine in front. Second half of action continuing here. 6.01 to go, and Ron shuffled his feet. They call a travel. Felton has the basketball, 5.55 to go. Ryan gets the basketball back. Stop and pop three, a deep one. Looks off from here, it is. Rebound and out of bounds. Just a mishandle, botched exchange, whatever you want to call it for Gaston right there. Now it's Bigfoot inbound of the basketball for Combine. Yeah. 
Another reach in foul is called, 5.28 to go. Here's Felton. Gets it to Jones. Jones launches one. It's short. Rebound. Here they go. 48-41. It's Newman. Gets by the initial defender. Goes up. Nice drive and kick to Ryan for three. But he stepped out of bounds. Felton calls the set out, 5-12 to play, seven point lead, they jump him immediately. They honestly did it a half a second too early because they could have forced him to retreat and get a backcourt violation. Extra pass, pass more, three, good. Brackees pass more with a timely basket to extend Combine's lead up to 10. And Combine, I would say, if they get three or four more, ooh, Freeman put his man on the deck and they call a foul on Bigfoot for that one. And Freeman's going to go to the line for two, much to the chagrin of a lot of people in this gym, including the combine coach and staff. That one is up and no good. See if he can hit the second. There's some chance fly in from the student section. Second one, good. Nine point game. Here comes Paul Jones. Handling the initiation duties here on this possession. Pass more around the screen, trying to find a friend. It's Walker. He comes back into the game after an extended break. High, arcing, finish, no. Rebound batted around. Newman's got it. Newman, nice placement on that pass. Up to Freeman. He lays it in. 51-44 the count. Here's Felton with it. Felton gets by the initial man, goes up. A lot of contact with Gabby, and he'll draw the foul. Wipe it up, and it looks like Jasheen Felton's going back to the line. He is, he's made it a point to get there tonight, and I think that's a great sign for his game, for Combine, for their season. Like, when you're a guard with that size, and you're able to force late help, because just because you're too big, strong, and fast for your defender, you got to get to the free throw line. You got to you gotta pin your ears back and try to get to the paint, and that's exactly what Jasheen Felton's done tonight. Hasn't always been the prettiest, but he's gotten his, so many opportunities for free points and he's been really efficient from the line. This free throw, if it goes in, will get Combine's lead back up to nine. That one is good. Now CJ Purdy's gonna come in for Jay and Walker. Nice take and finish. A little change of pace scoop play from Freeman, who's getting stronger and stronger as this game goes on. Another six man of the year candidate. He continues to come off the bench for Gaston. Felton, little yo yo dribble, little in and out. Gets it out to Passmore. Passmore weaving through. He'll reset. Passmore crosses over twice, lost it. Felton gets it back. Felton all the way, goes up, lays it in. He kept it for himself and gets the basket. Shashim Felton having a strong fourth quarter here for the Goats. Nice move. Layup rejected by Purdy, the back line. Odakono fighting for it. Jump ball is the call. A lot of hustle there for both teams. They called a foul. Or a timeout, or what's the call?
Full timeout for Combine. 3.23 to go. That was a big stop um, for them to get the ball back up now with 3.23 left. Full timeout. Be back with you all shortly. Teams returning to the floor. Combines got out. Purdy, Passmore, Odakondo, Felton, and Watts. Gaston Christians got out. Newman, Williams, Mabor, Southern, and Newman. Pass more gonna reset. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kind of gotta go. In and out dribble. He's got to step. Uh-oh. Pass more floating through. Couldn't get the roll. Oh, that they got the foul call, but it was a late whistle. And they call a tech. And now Passmore is gonna shoot free throws. We'll have three. First one is good. Second one for Passmore is also good. So those are the technical free throws. Oh. So it's just Combine's getting the ball back. That shoot. If Combine's able, if Rakis is able to connect on both of these and Combine's able to find a way to get a basket. That might be ball game. That one is no good. So 12 point game, 255 to go will be Goats basketball. Watts. With the blonde tips in his hair is going to inbound the basketball right here. Felton doesn't use the screen. We'll get downhill again. Scoop layup. Yes. Jasheem Felton straight with the right hand the whole freaking game. 14 point lead combine. Able to seize the momentum needed to give themselves a really good chance now. Up by 14 with only a couple minutes left. Freeman loses it and it's a turnover. Here comes Felton. They got numbers. Five on four. Felton again. Kicks out. Pass more for the dagger. It's good to send them home. But Keith Passmore gives Combine a 17 point lead. And here's Freeman with it. Thought about the three, gets Passmore jumping. Passmore did a great job recovering. What a dynamic defensive player. He has a chance to be at the next level. Newman trying to get some separation. Leaner off one leg, no. Rebound secured by Watts. And here comes Rakeese Passmore. Rakeese again over the top. Dump down Odakondo. Nice dribble. To get the defender in the air and the reverse finish with nice touch off the feed from Rakis. And Combine's two best players tonight 
down the stretch of Benjamin Felton and Rakeese Passmore after Jay and Walker carried him early on the offensive end. That three-pointer is up and way off. Watts bats the rebound to himself, hands it off to Jasheem Felton. And with only a minute 32 left and 25 on the shot clock, Combine is in a great position to get this done. Down low, Otakondo, yes! And he flexes on him. He gets four quick ones to end this game. Here comes Newman, he's had to do so much, he is fouled. He's had to exert a lot of energy tonight. Kept his team in the game until there were about three minutes left and then Combine was able to find a way to get out ahead of it and get it done. Here comes Gaston Christian, it's Ryan with it. Ryan takes the screen from Gabby. Kick out, three pointer from Joy, no good. Rebound, oh, condo has got it. Pull up Purdy, no. Got a good look at it, 44 seconds to play. CJ almost had the steal, got his hand on the ball, but couldn't quite corral it. That three-pointer is up and good for Gaston Christian from Jeremy Duhon, son of Coach Chris, getting on the scoreboard here in this one. And with 25 seconds on the clock, chapter, game clock and 23 on the game clock, Combine's going to run some here try to get some offense. Like we said, develop depth. Every possession matters. Kai Queen thought about it. Anderson, another shot. It is up. No good. Rebound secured by Gaston, and here they come with eight seconds to play. It's in the hands of Duhon again. He'll cross over, look to attack. Gives it up, and a turnover with two seconds. Combine will inbound the basketball, and that'll be that. They will start the season 2-0 and oh here on the farm. Trying to repeat again for the fourth year in a row in the Hoop State Championship, and their campaign is off to a really good start. Otokondo gets the crowd hyped up. He loves it. And we'll see you guys next time here on the Hoop State Network. We will be back tomorrow night on HoopStateLive.com for the Carmel Christian Tip-Off Classic, as well as Saturday all day long. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon.